Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about network mapping and file transfer on the QNAP NAS systems. Okay, so um, we're going to walk you through a couple of tips, uh, things that have helped me out. Okay, so let's start by launching our QNAP Finder. And our QNAP Finder is a little app that helps us find all of our QNAPs uh, within a network. So here it is. And here's my QNAP NAS. It's a TS-251. So we're going to go ahead and uh, highlight that. We are going to click on the network drive um, icon and then go into our QNAP NAS. So this is actually our QNAP NAS that we're looking at. Um, what we're going to do is map this thing. So we're going to select the map. Um, we're going to right click, select map network. Okay. We're going to name it, give it a drive. I'm going to call it Z for now for testing purposes. So Z, um, we're going to keep on um, the reconnect that sign in as well. Okay. So it always keeps you logged in. Okay, so here you can see it in your, this is your, your um, Explorer, right? And there you can see, there you can see your public, okay? Your public uh, is now mapped within your, within your network. So you can kind of, you can see it there. It's easy to access, easy to get to. It'll always be there until the time that you disconnect it. So great. Um, you can also protect it. You want to password protect it. Uh, you can do that as well. Every time you access it, either or, it's up to you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to launch an application and this training, we're going to use uh, Microsoft Word. We all know Word, right? How to use it. So let's go ahead and create a quick little test page. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to file, right? And save as, um, and then save it within the QNAP directly. Okay, so we're not going to save, what we're doing is we're not going to save it onto our desktop or to our documents and then drag it over as a backup. No. This time, we are going to go directly into the QNAP. And this is our QNAP, and the, these are our file systems. Everything, as you know, is in here, all the folders and files within the file station. Okay, and you can see them here. This is the same public folder that we're looking at on this side. Okay, so here, let's do this. So we are going to um, select uh, File, Save As. Okay, and we're going to browse, go over to our mapped drive, our public drive. Okay, and we're gonna name the we're gonna name the file for this purposes. We'll call it test. Okay, so we are going to save and it's gonna appear over here on our QNAP side. Okay, so click here, we're gonna refresh for a second, and there it is. Magic, right? So it transfer, transfers really easy, and we are not having to grab things and drag things over or having to back things up. We're actually saving directly into the QNAP system. So very, very convenient, okay? Need be. So, and if you want to retrieve it, no worries, guys. Right click, download, and it's back onto your PC, okay? That easy. Very, very simple, All right, guys? So again, very easy to use when it comes to file save as. Highly recommend it. You might need it sometime, okay? So again, save as. Browse, okay, go to your map drive, name it, and save it. And it is stored in your QNAP NAS system. It's, so you have a copy over there, which is great. So now you kind of, all this, all this data that you've been accumulating, now you can use the, all of the, all of the uh, massive terabytes that are in your NAS system and not the ones that are on your laptop and not the ones that are on your PC. So it's very, very convenient, okay, guys? So highly recommend it, get a chance, go ahead and map your drive, and you guys can um, can take a look at this. You, you never know, you might need it. So another way to move um, information from my PC over to the QNAP is dragging and dropping, very simple. Open one, right, open one folder, and here's a bunch of video, video clips that I use um, for my video trainings. So we're just gonna select one random, and what we're gonna do is just drag it over and drop it right into the file station folder. So here we go, so it's, we refresh, and there you can see it transferring it in okay transfer it in it's 16 meg so it's pretty big it's pretty big transfer pretty fast okay so very simple to use drag and drop right into the qnap folder um, that we're utilizing so um and there you can see the details of the folders like i said it's a video folder it's a video file so it is it is big so and that is um that is uh, hd quality so those files are good so how do you get it back Right click, download, and it's back onto your PC in your download folders, okay? So yeah, another way to look at things is just go straight into your file explorer and click on your Z drive, and that'll bring you back into the QNAP. Same thing there, you can drag and drop, same as you would 
um, from your PC or anywhere else, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to drag straight into the public, um, the public folder that's in the queue app that we just mapped. All right. So let's uh, let's take an image and we're going to drag it over to the Z drive, and sure enough, voila, it's going to appear right over on our queue app. We click to refresh, and there we go. It's there. So again, guys, very simple. We showed you how to do the same thing um, in different ways, okay? And again, it's all, it's all up to you guys. Um, but I definitely recommend the mapping. If you do need it, it's there. And again, the dragging and dropping, whether you're dragging and dropping from folder to folder or you're dragging from uh, your Z drive over to your, your, de your, your PC, it's fine either which way, okay? It's just a matter of preference. So again, guys, very simple to use, um, easy to set up. Um, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. Go ahead and, and leave, uh, leave a message on the comment section or email us at sales at simplynas.com. And we'll be happy to you know, reach out to you guys and help you out any which way we can. All right, guys? And again, thanks for tuning in. My name's Hernan from Simply Nas. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.